Good morning world from the IKEA in Manila. We've heard plenty of good things about the IKEA here in the Philippines. It's a fairly recent addition to the country and we definitely need to get some stuff for the house. Yeah, I believe this IKEA is one of the biggest in the world. Yes, that's what we've heard, that's yeah. what we've read. Yeah. So let's check it out. But as soon as you come up, there's a nice little seating area here. Is this the cafe? No, I think so. Just like a place to rest yeah. after doing all your intense shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and we're heading towards the showroom right now. They've got a locker service here. You can leave your bags behind so you don't have to carry them up with you. What have you seen? A whole bed to buy up there. It's actually quite a reasonable price. Look at that. Two seven ninety. Is that a big enough bag for you, Story? <laughs> you could probably fit in that bag. Carry story around in it. Yeah, it's almost as big as you, yeah. <laughs> Is it the same size as you? <laughs> so if you don't already know, IKEA is a Swedish furniture shop. We're used to having them in Europe, but this is the first one we've seen in Asia so far. And what I really love about shopping in an IKEA is just how they set out the rooms for you. So if you're not good at visualizing a home space, you can just see it all here and you could buy everything as is. They set them all up, don't they? Yeah. Looks like a proper little room. It's nice, you can just walk in and go, I like this room, give me that room. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this room actually, I like the green. <laughs> yeah. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's a bit kind of old fashioned style, but still modernized. I like this chair, it reminds me of like a chair in my grand's house. Yeah, that's what I was going to say though. Like, looking like at it here, velour. like it's quite modern looking yeah. but very very old-fashioned at the same time like it good sofa, good sofa. <laughs> i'm not driving that back to shargao <laughs> island though <laughs> so there you go like all of the prices are laid out for you you can see how everything is basically for sale and i think they've even got their own kind of design studio here where you can say can you design me a room and then you can have that basically delivered to your new place yeah. look at that nice desk isn't it we are actually looking for a lamp for your room story. So if you see a lamp that you like, let us know, okay? I know, but you might not like that one. Do you like that one? No. Nope. <laughs> not your style. Yep, everything for sale, even the rugs under your feet. <laughs> There's price tags hanging off of everything, including the lights above you. It's clever how they do that to catch your attention. The worm one. The worm one. There's a worm table, uh, not table, lampshade. Yeah. I like that, nice wooden stand. I like, I like, the, I like the iPad. Yeah, well the iPad isn't 590 pesos yeah. though. <laughs> Look at this, it's so cool. Yeah, you like the glass? I wouldn't be surprised if that's for sale as well. Oh wow, it's actually yeah, it is. You can buy it. <laughs> Bit too old for that now, aren't you? Yeah, my feet always touch the <laughs> Your knees are really bent up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Changes colour as well. So if you find what you want to buy, what do you do? I don't know actually. Stick it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I found. I found a ball mm. and an apple. Yeah. It's been cut. We were just trying to work out what you're supposed to do when you like something. It tells you where to get the products from. Oh. Each one's got a different tag. Found out something. Look, there's the sleepy bit and there's the open bit. Oh yeah, day and night. Something I've always been a bit unsure about with IKEA furniture is in the past they used to make a lot of their stuff out of plywood which was like pressed together and if you are in a humid environment it wouldn't be very good because it would all separate and basically not last very long. So but they must have done a lot of research before opening an IKEA in a tropical place. So I wonder if they use different materials here like more bamboo or something that's native to the Philippines. So we've just exited the first showroom area and we're in one of the purchasing areas now. So I guess you can pick up your goodies from here. Can you? Oh, that is nice. <laughs> you forget things are in there, yeah? So in this section, if you want to buy anything, you have to contact them and they have to order it for you. This is our favourite type of material here in the Philippines, this kind of solid bamboo. That would last, wouldn't it? Yeah? It's the same storage unit. Yeah. 
I was thinking though, like looking at some of the shelving here, it's still like a laminate, but it looks thicker than what I've seen before in some of the IKEAs we have in the UK. So maybe it's designed to last here. Never seen that before. Table with a built-in air purifier. Really? <laughs> Is that your knotty hair, is it? Oh no! <laughs> it was nice actually, <laughs> like a sheep. <laughs> oh, what's a leaf? It's a leaf. Oh, I like how they've done this. That <laughs> they've made like a screen here with an image of the outside, like you're in a subdivision, so you can visualise your room. Get some light in here as well. We saw that in the other room too, didn't we? Oh, no, I went up That's a cool lamp. Oh, what is that? What is that? It's a what table lamp. lamp. Where's it supposed to be? It's like a dog. Oh, look, this is good. Oh yeah, that is a paper. clever idea. Oh, red paper. Yeah. But what do you do? Just draw it on the wall though? Yeah, and then you roll it up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But you have to draw like vertically though. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'd like that. What about this? Little book for underneath her bed. Can you yeah. put her workbooks in it? Good work. I really like this room. Yeah. It's one of those room designs I would never think up myself. But now that I've seen it, yeah? Wow, I like that. I like that one. You can have a dim light or a bright light. Yeah. It's like an old-fashioned oil lamp style. It does, yeah. It looks, fits the kind of factory theme of this room. I like it. Do you like that one, Story? Yes, I do. Very fancy. I like the way they put all these toys in between all the furniture so the kids can tell you what they want to buy. Look at you. Do you love that cat? I do. You're right. You're a cat lover, aren't you? Yeah, I just love cats. Oh, I love dog cats. Yay! <laughs> it's sad he wants to be adopted. He does, He's alone. <laughs> loads of cats. This is the planning studio where you can see what's available and plan out your room. We've got all the staff here which can help you design and come up with something that's best for your property. All the measurements there, it's very clever. I've just seen here that they are trying to use as much recycled materials as possible for their doors and they're aiming to be completely renewable by 2030. We've even got a coffee shop layout in here. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if people come in here just to take selfies, you know. What have you seen? Oh, lovely. Is that the chair you've chosen? Yeah. Did that look good in your room? Yes, it did. <laughs> Story's investigating the baby bedroom and I just saw create your dream kitchen for under 52,000 pesos. So it's pretty good how they've got it all laid out here to give you an idea of what you might need in the setup like that. What a lovely kitchen. I wouldn't normally think about black looking nice in a kitchen, but this looks fantastic. Oh, a little herb garden. I like it. Hmm. What's this? Oh, Storage box. It's a pin. Recycling box. You sit in the baby bedroom. What's going on in here? Are you in the shower? <laughs> oh, I didn't expect to find a bathroom in here. It's amazing what you can put into a small space. And then back out to the main room. Oh, it's Grandad out there. Yes, we found each other. Such a big store, we thought we'd miss each other here. Grandad did the route opposite way. So it's not bamboo like I thought, it's actually untreated solid pine that they use for a lot of this stuff. Check this out as well. Look, general lighting and mood lighting. And you set it up so that you understand the differences, but mood light doesn't work. Functional light, sorry. That one doesn't work. Found what? something, I'm adding it to the bag. Oh, okay. Do what you is know this? why we're getting this? Oh, for Eden's bone. Yeah. Yes, that's the right size, isn't it? <laughs> Black and white like Eden as well. Yeah, Eden, we've been our doggy. looking for a box frame for so long to keep her favourite bone in it. We've not given it to Poppy because that was Eden. Yeah. <laughs> we had since the day we got her and we still have it. Survived the storm and everything. So we'll put a little picture of her in and put her bone in there with her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me sad. <laughs> putting it in the bag. Yeah, in the bag it goes. <laughs> All right, Grandad warned us about this section. This is where the toys come into play, don't they? Oh yeah, we might have trouble getting through this. <laughs> getting through this without purchasing many things. But we did just say you could choose one thing, didn't we, Story? Yeah. Yeah? Have you got your eyes on anything in particular yet? I love this. <laughs> it's so cute. 
Let's have a proper look, yeah? We've got all these softies. Look at these dinos story. Yeah, I'm interested. Whoa, it's massive, isn't it? Where's story gone? There's a caterpillar there. <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah. This is exactly what we've been looking for. Proper Lego boxes that you can actually stick your Legos onto and build a scene. So I've got a couple of those. They're not cheap though. It's like 1,300 per box. This story's got a lot of Legos, so I have to budget this. We've left all of our purchases in the little car park. And now we're gonna go get some lunch in the Swedish cafe. Massive in here. This is how it works, then you grab one of these trolley things and you take it into the line, the queue. Choose your bits and pieces, I guess. I guess you put your trays on there like that. There you go. And pay with it at the end. They've got vegan plant-based meals. They've got a kids menu as well. And traditional meaty stuff. Pretty cool. Let's see what we can get in here. Grabbing some plant balls with mashed potato and broccoli. I think Grandad's going to get himself some salmon. Where's the salmon? There's no salmon. There's the 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 salmon. Sauce, kind of yeah, like a kind of relish, I think. We'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> we grabbed all the food and we just need to find somewhere to sit and devour. I'm looking forward to these balls. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it means it's vegan. It's vegan. What's your Swedish meatball review? It's good, really good. I like, don't know what to do. Your plant balls, yeah? So that your review is uh, 10 stars? No, that's 5 stars. Oh yeah, that's 10 stars. Oh my goodness. <laughs> High score. And also, I'll give them 10 out of 10 too. Yeah, good. And Me too. Also, kids that eat candy would like these also. Why is that? But I love them. <laughs> uh, it's, it's because they just love candy. You're a salty girl. Yeah. Okay, we're on the final stage of the shopping now. We've just come down to the marketplace area. Plenty of lighting in here. We just picked up a lamp for Story's bedroom. There really is so much choice. It's pretty overwhelming. It's very well organized. All right, we're in the self-serve section now, trying to work out if we can get these things in the car and drive them all the way back to the island. What do you think? Maybe. We need a roof box, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think it's possible because it's just one L shape. We can put our other boxes on top of it, mm. but it's going to get tricky. At the loading time. Can you show us the toy that you chose, Story? This is Flopsy. Yeah? I haven't bought it yet. But... Yeah, but this is the one you chose, isn't it? Yeah. Should we go and pay for it all? Let's go and see how much all of this is going to cost us. <laughs> we decided to go with the chair in the end. So we'll see what we can do. So if you don't know the story, we come from Shargal Island, which is like 1,200 kilometers away across many boat journeys. And we drove all the way up here. So while we're in the Ikea, we figured we'd get some furniture and see if we can now drive it all the way back in the beginning of the new year. So I think we can manage it. We've managed worse challenges before. We've managed to buy all of our stuff. We're now exiting the Ikea and we've just seen they've got a Swedish bistro here with a plant-based veggie dog and soy ice cream. So we're gonna try that out. All right, so you pay 10 pesos, grab your coin, grab your cone. <laughs> it's not an invisible ice cream. So you get a token and then you go to the wow. soft serve thing ten yourself. Pesos worth of ice cream. Uh, that's why it's 10 pesos, because you've got to do it yourself. Typical <laughs> idea. <laughs> So you put your token in. Where's the token? Put the token in there. Token in the slot. It's exploded! There we go, that's it. So we had to remove the tissue from the cone. Now, I'm take it out. Okay, let's walk over here and try it. Good? So they're actually all soy, aren't they? There wasn't an option for a dairy one, it was just plant based or nothing. All three buttons did the same thing. What's the flavour like? 
sweet. Is it uh, vanilla-y or is it sweet? Sweet. Well, okay. Okay, that was a successful shot that way, Kia. One of the biggest ones in the world. Did it feel much bigger to you? Not particularly. I feel like they're all quite big, aren't they? Yeah, I think but it is. the cafeteria, cafeteria, cafeteria section seemed really large. It did, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the meal that we bought there only cost like 800 pesos for the family. So it's actually very reasonably priced and very well set out as well. Success, I got my ice cream. Yeah, I can't believe that soft serve was only 10 pesos. 10 pesos, that's a right bargain. One coin, basically. Yeah. So we are heading off now. We've got our bags here. Somehow we'll work out how to get it in the car. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.